Hello everyone, it's JD here and welcome to video 1 of Lockdown 2.0 and this is my impromptu setup. Currently I'm in front of my bedroom window and um, instead of holding my camera up with my tripod, I'm holding it up with four boxes because my tripod broke today and um, unfortunately ripped that, I'm going to have to buy another one. But for now, I'm going to have to use four boxes that I had lying around from me uh, packing up all my stuff. Now into the raw meat of this video, welcome to my top five things that I miss about the Melbourne car scene. This is obviously pre-lockdown and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So starting at number 5 is the Facebook events page. Now I actually had a segment in one of my videos which you can see right here uh, which was by my friend Bailey uh, who actually explained that the Facebook events page is a very crucial part about finding events in the Melbourne car scene and especially the Australian car scene. Oh, actually, even the world car scene. I'm just expanding at this point. If you want to find a car scene on any planet in our solar system, the Facebook events page is a great place to do that. You can literally find events a couple of days in advance, all the way up to a couple of months in advance. And it's stuff that is very difficult to find out about unless you're very deep into the car scene, which for me, back about two years, three years ago, um, was a bit difficult. Now number four is Macca's runs and just random restaurant chills. Now you probably have this in your own state but for us going down to Daniel's Donuts, Glenny Kebabs, any sort of place where a mass amount of car enthusiasts is, it's just a great vibe especially late at night when you come back home at like one o'clock in the morning or two o'clock in the morning and you've just had an awesome fun-filled day of driving around or chilling in a car park. It's just a vibe that I will never get bored of and it's something that I still do even when lockdowns eased. Um, back when we were allowed to be out in about 20 people or 10 people, I'd always go down with a few friends to Daniel's Donuts and would grab a donut, chill, look at all of the builds and just rock up and all the different modded cars. It's just such a fun vibe and I just can't wait to get back to that. Number three on my list is mountain runs. Now, mountain runs are one of the more action-filled uh, hobbies that I have now picked up. Uh, it is awesome to just drive around with a few friends, go down a few mountain passes, uh, try and keep up with each other and uh, have a fun uh, time. And it's actually the closest thing, especially for me, to Initial D. Like, I've only watched probably a few episodes of it and I've also seen the live um, action adaptation of Initial D, which is actually coincidentally, uh, it's shot in China, I think, uh, by Chinese actors, uh, but it's set in a sort of Japanese aesthetic, if that makes sense. Why is it in Chinese when it's a Japanese anime? I don't know. Anyway, I hope I didn't ruin that for you, but anyway, yeah, mountain runs are a great uh, thing for me to do with my friends, and it's something that I'm really keen to get back to because driving with your friends up the mountain at night is just an awesome experience. Number two, and something that I bet a lot of us are going to be excited for in summer coming up in a couple of months is uh, cruises. Now cruising as a definition, it can mean two things. One thing is getting on a ship and going off to another island or another like country or whatever. But cruising is also when you drive in a convoy from one place to another or go on like a day outing sort of thing. Waking up in the morning, getting your car washed, driving down to a car park, wait for all your friends to get together and then drive out on a nice scenic drive is just such an awesome feeling, especially when you're driving with people that you vibe with and it's awesome to see all of the shenanigans you get up to on those sorts of adventures. Once COVID's over and once we're able to get back out in the scene, I am so keen to bring the skyline out and drive on some many scenic drives and record videos for you guys doing that. Now number one, the numero uno, the thing that I am super keen for is car meets. Car meets have still been going through the many easing of restrictions back up when there were 
at least 20 people or like 50 people uh, permitted in an area. Um, car meets were about to come back in full send as of uh, July, but unfortunately with the rise of coronavirus again, um, yeah, in Melbourne, car meets have been uh, postponed until later in this year. So probably up until October or November is when they'll probably be starting back up again if we're lucky. Attending car meets has always been something that I'd look forward to. I'd always be like, can't wait to go to Tuned or I can't wait for this meet that's been planned with a couple of mates. Just heading down to a car meet has been an amazing experience to meet friends, collaborate with people and even like attend competitions like the uh, limbo competitions, the exhaust competition um, and in some countries even you even have burnout competitions which unfortunately for Australia is a very quick way of getting your meat shut down unless you have a permit or private property. Now I know that you guys are missing the scene just as much as I am and I hope that we can get back to it as soon as possible so we can enjoy many moments of this year to kind of make up for all of the hardship that we've been through with COVID-19 above us. So here's fingers crossed to getting back to normal and getting back to the amazing scene that we used to have. Thank you guys for watching this impromptu video. I know it's been a bit all over the place but that's how it is and um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.